Welcome to Mosaic Arts Online. I'm Mark Brody, and I will be teaching mosaic lettering from A to Z. In this online course, I will share some great ideas on how to incorporate words into your mosaic artwork. Words are a tool of communication, and they can be a part of your mosaic toolbox as well. But how do you make letters using Tessera? How do you size the letters to fit the composition? And how do you decide on light or dark lettering? These are some of the many things I will show you in this course. Words can be the punctuation on your next mosaic. In this online course, I will demonstrate three projects that each have a unique style of lettering. I will share my favorite fonts, which translate easily into tile. I will show you how to lay out individual letters for your design before you start to lay out Tessera. I'll demonstrate a variety of cutting techniques which makes it possible to create any style of lettering. Peruse the entire course to get an overview of these lettering techniques. The first project will introduce a unique line of pre-cut color tiles and you will use these squares to build your chosen word on a grid. It's easy and fun. In the second project, you will choose a font with more style and elegance and enlarge it to a suitable size for a mosaic. This technique allows for more artistry and expression of your mosaic work. As well, I will do a short demonstration on the art of calligraphy and create a mosaic that uses a calligraphic font. Finally, the third mosaic project will be a more open-ended and you will have the option of doing freeform lettering and I will show you how the word can have a more supporting role in a larger mosaic composition. Whether the word acts as a subject of the mosaic or it is more of the commentary on the big picture, words can enhance the mosaic by giving it more meaning. Words have been placed in mosaics for centuries. They are used to identify important sites and figures, express emotions and ideas, and give clear directions. Mosaic lettering from A to Z can help you choose your words and make a statement. In the next section is a PDF with all the tools, materials, and resources to get started. Mark, thank you so much for coming back to Mosaic Arts Online. It is so great to have you here, and this course is just something we have uh, been wanting and needed, I think, for our community for a long time. Well, thank you so much, Tammy. It's great to be back here at Mosaic Arts Online. I'm so happy to bring these ideas um, to, yes. you, to, to you and share it with, uh, with everyone else. Yeah, it's, it's really awesome. So before we talk more about the course, I know um, mosaic lettering is a unique thing. And how did you get started doing it? Well, I teach in schools. And so mm -hmm. we'll do murals. Um, and a lot of times they want a specific subject um, and uh, dates and so on. So we had to do lettering and numbers. Mm -hmm. And um, at first, I thought there was a burden. There's a, there's a weird block that we have with words because they're like, well, that could be too hard to set into mosaic. So you decided to start making them be more, because I think in the beginning you were doing it like under glass and then you started creating proper letters yeah. and different fonts. And yeah, I was, like that. I, was, I was cutting uh, paper and putting it under glass and that's, that's, that will work, but it, it's not... Not long lasting. Yeah, it's not a real mosaic where it's, right, it's, it's right. meant to last for, for so long. Um, and so what I would do is working with the, with children, you know, and they, and they would be able to create these words because we were just cutting sticks and we were cutting them down to little squares. So it, it made it really easy. And, you know, some of these uh, so, projects yeah. are, are really simple to get started with. It's a great way to start and then expand you know, the portfolio. And then in, in lettering is like an expression of character, like the way you show it with all these different types of fonts, how mm -hmm. you can make it be something more. Yeah, I, 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 I think that um, handwriting really expresses a lot. And um, lettering, you know, calligraphy is, is, is a beautiful form and it, it really emphasizes uh, meaning to the words uh, that are written. And um, so I, I really enjoy, um, you know, showing that in, in the work. 
And is, is this something beginners can do as well? Or, you know, how would people dive in first to something like this? Well, I, I, have, I have a grid project and that's, that's a great way to start because um, I, I create a whole alphabet of grid letters. And so it's, 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 you just plug it in and, and, uh, and uh, create that letter. So it's, it's really easy. When you get to um, uh, the cursive and so on, and you have to do c curves, you, you, you need to be more skilled with your cuts, but um, I show you how to do that in this course. I will say, having, we just shot this whole course, Mark doesn't just show about the lettering. There's so much about how you cut your stained glass. This is all mostly in stained glass. Mm -hmm. How you cut your glass, it can be used with other materials if you like, but really about values, there's so much in this course more than even just the fonts. Yeah, hey, I've made some mistakes and um, I've learned from those. And there's some basic rules that you get. You know, uh, mosaic lettering has been around for centuries. Yes. And, um, you know, I, I get I go to Europe and, and, and I've seen some mosaics and they're just, they're, they're kind of made the same. They're in similar yeah. styles. So th these, these ideas have worked for thousands of years. That is awesome. So we cannot thank you enough for bringing this course to Mosaic Arts Online. And I think everyone will really get something out of learning to letter with different types of tessera. That's awesome. That would be a great word. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.